Hey YouTubers, so I'm doing a another video. Um, I've just uploaded my first video onto YouTube. Um, this one is I'm looking to buy a new MP3 player. Um, as I said in my last video, I was looking at an 80 gigabyte iPod Classic. Um, as I stated, um, an 80 gigabyte iPod Classic is cheaper than um, an 8 gigabyte iPod Touch. Um, and as I said, the iPod Touch is cool and all, and it has, you know, Wi-Fi to touch. Um, it has cool applications that you can download. But if you're looking for style over storage, then I would recommend you go for the iPod Touch. Um, but the way I'm looking at it is, is that an 80 gigabyte iPod Classic is 229 euros. An 80 gig, uh, or sorry, an 8 gig iPod Touch is 272 euros. So you're saving a good bit of money, plus you're getting more storage out of it. Um, I was looking at other MP3 players, and I first, when I first saw the Sansa Sandisk ones, I was really thinking about getting them, but I couldn't find anywhere that done them. Um, then I started looking at the Creative of Zen. I saw that they had a memory card, which I thought was really kind of cool to have because you know you can always expand more memory. Um, uh, so yeah, I then decided that I'm going to go with the 80 gig iPod Classic. Um, I've been thinking about the 160, but I think that's going a bit over the top with it. So. Um, I think I'm getting. I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead with the 80 gigabyte iPod Classic, and when I get it, um, it should be in a couple of weeks or so. I will be doing a uh, unboxing of the 8 gigab 80 gigabyte iPod Classic, um, and I'll also do a review after the um, eight after I do the unboxing. Um, I just want to know, like I know I've been with, I've had iPods before and whatever, but I know I've seen videos, but I decided I'd do it anyway. Um, I know there are a lot of Apple slash Mac haters out there, but I don't see what's wrong, what's wrong with them. I think they're very good, and I'd switch to Mac tomorrow if I could. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's kind of off top topic, but anyway. So, um, when I get my 80 gigabyte iPod Classic, I'll do an unboxing and do a review on it. Um, I had been looking at the new, is it third generation iPod Nano, but it's it only comes in four and eight gigs. So I decided that wasn't really enough um, to have um, enough memory. Now my last iPod was four four gigs. And what happened to that was it got put in the wash and got destroyed. So um, when I get my uh, iPod Classic, I'll do an unboxing and I'll do a review on it and let you know what I all think of it, what I think of it. And yeah, so that's my little uh, thought on the iPod. Um, so yeah. Um, also, if you know, people can give me some advice on video logging and whatnot. I'm just starting out with it so it's gonna be all over the place. Um I've seen one or two videos where they've given tips for uh video logging. So I'd recommend you check them out if you're thinking of starting video logging. Um one account that I saw that had tips on it was from a guy called Blade three seven six who gave tips on um, how to start video logging, what you should do, and editing and whatnot. So check him out, and yeah, um, I know it's kind of off topic of what I've done, what I've been talking about, but yeah. So I'm gonna end this video and might do another one. Um, right, this is the end of this video, so bye for now.